Let's discuss some key fundamentals of object-oriented programming. This is the most recent computer science paradigm used in today's programming world. It focuses on objects that are defined in classes, using three key features, abstraction, inheritance, and polymorphism. We'll discuss inheritance and polymorphism in later lessons. The key advantage to object-oriented design, as opposed to procedural or functional programming of the past, is that very large projects can more easily be designed and developed, with objects interfacing with each other, without knowing or needing to know how each one works inside, and with the idea that modifications can be made to objects without interfering with the interfacing actions between the objects, thus making changes relatively easy to do without having to change other aspects of the project which was a significant drawback to the older ways. First of all, it is important to understand the distinction between the terms object and class. Quite simply put, the class is the definition of the thing, and the object is the actual thing. For example, the recipe for a meal would be the class, and the meal itself would be the object. Or the blueprints for a house would be the class, and the house itself would be the object. The same idea applies for many aspects of everyday life, like a daily schedule you set out for yourself, and then you actually do those things throughout the day. Or plans for building a project, and then the actual building of that project. Pause for a moment and think about some other examples of objects and classes, and write them down or share them with someone. The object-oriented aspects of abstraction and encapsulation are often referred to in the same discussion, since they are related. Encapsulation refers to the idea that an object is defined as a single entity or package with several inner working parts, including data or information, as well as internal processes that deal with the data. The idea of abstraction refers to the fact that the user of the data is not privy to how it is put together, or how all of the inner parts work, but only understands how to interface with the object, enough to be able to use it effectively. This is also called information hiding. There are many examples of abstraction and encapsulation in your everyday world. You drive your car effectively by knowing how to work the controls, but quite likely are unaware of how everything works inside nor do you need to know. The same idea applies to many aspects of everyday life, such as using a computer, or using the coffee maker, or watching TV. In order to use these effectively, all you need to know is how to interface with the object by pushing the right buttons, typing the right keys, or using the remote control. Someone else is the expert on how it all works. In summary, the modern paradigm of object-oriented programming is an improvement over procedural and functional processes of the past. It features the object and the class, using the aspects of abstraction and encapsulation to streamline and compartmentalize the process of program design and development, allowing for projects to be developed and then later revised with minimal effort, making alterations only to the inner workings of an object, without needing to change the interface between objects. A significant improvement over the old way of doing things.